Hello everybody, my name is Glenn Monroe and welcome to another Splash of Brain Diesel. In this video, I wanna show you a, a partial solution to a problem that's always driven me nuts about Microsoft Word and I've just stumbled across a solution to help get us partway there anyway. The problem is when you're using a table like this in Microsoft Word. Because if I had this here, I can type in the numbers, 10 times 100 is 1,000, that's pretty easy and so on. But I don't want to do anything manually. I don't want to do it with a calculator. I want to have a formula calculate automatically. So when I click on the table, on the Layout tab in 2007 or 2010, there's a formula button on the far right. So I click on the formula button, and this shows up. And you'll see that by default, it's the sum of the left, which is actually kind of neat compared to how these formulas write in, say, Power uh, in Excel. Um, so the sum to the left, well, that's interesting. But I don't want the sum. I want the to multiply them. So the word for multiplying is product. So I'm just going to take the word sum, change that to product, so that's fine. And I'm going to choose my number format to be the currency model, and I hit OK, and it does the math for me. Now I can take this field that I've inserted, and I'll copy this, and I'll paste the field in here, so that's pasted in. Don't worry, don't worry about the numbers just yet. That's part of the problem we'll deal with. Now I want to subtotal what's above it. So I go, go to my formula button, sum of above, perfect. Let's make it be in currency format. Hit OK. It works great. Now the tax where I live is 13%. So now I want to multiply this. This one's a little more of a step to it. What we're going to do is hit the formula button again. But we don't have anything as clean as the sum of above or multiply the one above me or something like that. So what I need to do here is I need to count out the letters and numbers for the rows and columns, similar to what you have in Excel. So I want to take this $2,000 and multiply it by 13%. So the $2,000 is in, in column A, B, C, D, in row 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm going to take cell D4 and multiply it using the asterisk by 13% or 0.13. So D4 times 0.13 and my format is dollar signs. I hit OK. Now that's in there. And finally, I want to add up what's above it. Same steps. Formula, have the box here. It's D4, and I want to add D5 to it. So it's D4 plus D5. And to know your cell references again, you just count the letters. Column A, B, C, D, and row 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. So D4 plus D5, I put this all in. And fantastic, I have my numbers. So I have numbers and it's all there. The problem is that the numbers are wrong. It's kept, the formula is perfect, but it's not updating automatically and Word doesn't update automatically. Why? I have no idea. It should. Uh, they've never put this in there. And can you make it update automatically? No, you can't. So 200, sorry, 20 times 200 should be 4,000. So now if I print this and send it to you as a quote, oh, I got some explaining to do because I'm way undervalued. I need to update these fields. And the way to update them is really unfortunate. You have to right click on the field and choose update. So now it's 4,000, but the subtotal didn't change. Right click, update. Right click, update. And if you do it field by field, you have to update them. You cannot do them all at once. I've yet to find a way to do them all at once. Now it's all correct. Now I can print it, save it, send it, whatever I do. If I don't update the fields and I save the project and then go to open it, it's going to bring me right back where I was. It doesn't update on closing either. Terrible, terrible system. So I, if you're going to use formulas, be very cautious of this. But there is one little saving grace I'm sharing with you today. And the saving grace is one way to automate the updates. Let's change this here. I'm going to make this be 20 of these at a price of $200. So there we go. So this I need to have all update. What I'm going to do is go to my file menu and down to options. So options is right here. In 2007, you'll find it around here, but in 2010, it's on the side here. So the window opens up here and I have the different blocks, general display and so on. I'm going to go to display and then down here in the printing options to update fields before printing. Why this isn't checked off as a default is beyond me. It should be at least there, but now I hit OK nothing has changed. As soon as I go to print it, it's going to, to change. So I go to my file, I go to my print, or there's a shortcut, Control-P, but 
I'm going to show you this way. I go to File to Print, and it shows me here it's still not updated. Once I hit the Print key, it's now all updated. Just watch yourself. There is no automatic solution for this. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay pumped. My name is Glenn Monroe. Bye now.